Alright, here we go for part 4 of Let's Play Sonic Heroes. So we're in a city level, because we were just in the ocean, which obviously leads us to a city. Um, I'm not gonna question it. Uh, this level is pretty much all Sonic. Um, anyone remember how to do that, like, light dash to, like, you run across a thing of rings? Because I don't. <laughs> I'm completely lost on it. Uh, which you'll notice. I, I saw a little, uh, <coughs> a short little, um, one of those question marks that I figure explained how to do it. I don't remember, though. I didn't go through it, so, uh, and then I die here. So I forget that you have to wait for the, uh, road to come back. Don't worry, I don't die again. That was just my mistake forgetting the road had to come back. Because, you know, roads. <coughs> so I was reading up, and apparently some of the Sonic fans feel that this is a return to original Sonic Button 3D. But is it really? Let's take a look. Right now it looks like it. Even now. Like this part right here. That's pretty original Sonic. This part right here. Not so much. I mean, how many times in original Sonic did you have to wait? Destroy certain enemies. I mean, weren't original Sonic games basically just get to the end? You didn't really have to kill anything. Um, I mean, I don't really see it. I mean, when you play a Sonic game, it's kind of original Sonic. It's very bad original Sonic. It's no Sonic 3D Blast, though, let's be fair. This game could definitely be worse. Oh, there was a door back there, wasn't there? That I could have opened up, I guess. Um, I mean, I'm pretty mean to this game only because it was the first Sonic game to really let me down. Aside from Sonic R. But let's just ignore that that game exists, along with Tails Doll. God damn it, Tails Doll. It sees you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake. But it's not gonna bring you presents. See, I completely ignore that those doors are there, because I don't remember. I think. No, that's not the one that does it. But there's a question mark around here somewhere that tells you how to run across the rings. I forgot to go through it. I think that was it right there. Yeah, it probably was. Um, I'll test around next time. Once I reach one, like in Let's Play Sonic Heroes 5, which I'll be doing at the same time as this. They're both gonna come on because I promised uh, to do it for the shortness of the last one. This level did not make me want to stop playing. This level was pretty good. Um, only problem that I really found with this level, besides constantly having to stop for doors, was at the beginning, Tails mentions that by running on that blue stuff, he can go as fast as Sonic. But that doesn't make any sense. If he wasn't going as fast as Sonic to begin with, how was he always right beside him? And another thing is, wouldn't Sonic be getting sped up by it too? Why does it, like, how, how does it know to moderate everyone's speed to the same level? Can Sonic not get artificially sped up? Because obviously he can because of those little track things. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it. See, this is what I don't like. You constantly have to wait for these doors. And they put them all right beside each other, so you're pretty much slowed down for the entire thing. I don't like that at all. It's bullshit. Why would you slow us down in the Sonic game? The only reason you should slow down in the Sonic game is because you got hit. And there's a lot of times in this that you're forced to slow down just to do stuff like this. You should be able to, like, maybe hit that robot, and then as you keep running, the uh, switch will be right in front of you. You don't have to jump into a little groove that it's in. Because that's just weird. And then there's this. we. Another way to completely bypass having to fly with Tails by using Sonic. This game really doesn't want you to use Tails. I think because after, like, they finished the game, they realized, oh shit, playing as Tails sucks. And 
they decided to help a brother out. Uh, get rid of the tail sections by letting Knuckles and Sonic fly artificially. How nice of them. So I'm just kind of like trying to hit that, but I guess you have to wait until it's at the top. Uh, like I mentioned, this level did not put me in the same mood as Egghawk, thank god. I don't think anything's going to put me in the same mood as Egghawk, though. That, that was just stupid. Up another one! Slowing down. Yeah, it's nice to see that I lag when we're going up a shaft. Um... So far, I'm gonna be fair with this game. The levels have been not have not been, you know, completely bad. There have been some the levels at least have kept my attention to a certain degree. They're definitely not a lot of fun, but I like I said earlier, they can definitely be worse. Um They put the invincibility in really stupid spots. They basically give you invincibility when you don't need invincibility. I don't think I run into any enemies when I'm invincible here. Uh, no, I think it, I think it runs out right when I get to the top of here. Yeah, I think... Is the music over? Yep. Yeah, right now, it goes away. I'm still sparkling, but the music's back to normal. So... I don't know why they even bothered to give it to me. To give it... To give it to it. To give it to me. It was just... Pointless. Another, we have to wait for something to happen. Um, the levels are definitely nice to look at. Uh, I'm gonna give it that. Yeah. Cars. That was pointless. And this is the only Tails section in... You'll notice there were no Knuckles sections in this level at all, and one Tails section. This entire level is just meant for Sonic. Which, maybe, if I did a better job at controlling him, I knew that light thing, this level could have been a lot more fun. But I didn't. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this level being bad, like the bad parts of this level, on my fault, just because I didn't learn that light thing. Uh, anyway, this is part four. Um, I'll see you guys in part five, which will be coming up right after this. Not that you guys will really notice. See ya. Blurp.